Okay, so this video takes a look at how to draw a culvert in long section. So just looking here in plan, I've got uh, I've got a culvert here going from section 157i uh, down as far as 140j. So what I'm going to do is just zoom into my those two cross sections here on on my left hand viewport and. On the right hand side I'm going to zoom in on the long section to the corresponding location so what I need to do is click on create profile structure here in the ribbon select my profile view it should pop us up with this dialog box I want to select culvert in here then uh, what we do is because we're going to be picking points from the cross section to define our, define our uh, drainage and level information we're going to set this to the section that we're going to be picking points from so it works best if you pick the outlet section first so 140j in my case so I'm just going to flick it to 140j and then down here just make sure that this is set to 140j as well and it'll automatically pick up the change um, of that section so now what I do is in order to define the levels for the top of the parapet, the crown and the invert, I can pick points using from the cross sections by, by clicking on this arrow. So I select the arrow, I browse to the cross section that I'm looking at, uh, 140J in this case, and I pick my my top of parapet. So I'm gonna pick there. It brings in the level for me, so I'm gonna pick the crown, which I'll go for there, and then the invert level, select there. So that's brought in that information for me. What I need to do then is I'm going to be picking the start section, which is going to be 157i. So I've changed this back to 157i. This automatically updates. And then, and so does the change here. And then what I do is select those points from section 157i. Um, so actually, in this case, I don't have a top of parapet, but I'm just going to say it's there for argument's sake. And then the crown, I'm going to go with say, this point, and then the invert, I'm going to pick as here. Uh, click create and then done. And if I look in, I'll change my view back to single viewport. And that's created this here in plan and also created some line work there so then what you can do is use the uh, add structure labels command to stick some levels on that so I'll click there there and there and similarly at the other end so there there and there and if you want just drag those out of the way Uh, okay, so 